Hola a todos. Hoy estoy en Escocia, al norte de Lockerbie. Como Don Quijote de la Mancha, yo puedo mirar unos gigantes andando sobre las colinas. En realidad, los molinos de viento. Uh, yo voy a continuar a Glasgow o Edinburgh y finalmente Oban. And now we go to the Scottish scores. Dunbarton 4, bollocks to traffic jams 8. Hi there, welcome to Loch Lomond. Such a beautiful spot, just an hour, hour's drive out of Glasgow. Is Cranlauch. It's a village just east of Oban, about an hour's drive, I've been told, east of Oban, and it's just north of Loch Lomond. Just panning around, we have the mountain which I've been told everyone comes to climb. I think it's called Benmore. Hi there, I'm James. I'm just climbing Benmore. I went about 500 meters and I've got another 600 or more than 600 meters to go. I'm just outside the village of uh, Cranlerich. Uh, which can be found about an hour's drive east of Oban in Scotland. Uh, here's the scenery. Just pan around. Let's see, there's some snow up there on top of those peaks, even though it's May. Uh, they do say that the Scots hate the English. I was uh, sipping a beer at Loch Lomond and I discovered that even the birds hate the English as well. I've climbed up where I think it's been more. So you got one of these trick points that you always find on top of these mountains. You can see it's 1172 meters roughly. Slightly lower, saying uh, saying one one six one meters there. So it's about ten meters lower. I'm finally in Oban, which can be found on the west coast of Scotland. Watching the sun go down. Pretty late in the day. That's the great thing about living in Oban, I guess. Also the distillery over there around the corner. We told there are ferries that go off. Uh, where they go? Must go to one of the islands. And yeah, there's plenty of uh, restaurants here. It's I thought it'd be a very Scottish place, but the, the Polish have found it. Uh, there's a lot of fish restaurants. It's Indian. So yeah, it is. Uh, there's quite a bit to this uh, small, small Scottish town.
Behind the nearest island you can see the Isle of Mull. There are ferries that connect the mainland with all of these islands. You can get you can catch a ferry from Roman. Uh, around the coast there's a nice campsite and panning around we've got the centre of Oban. One of the great things about Oban is the railway station is right in the centre of the town. You can catch a train from Glasgow to Oban. Just panning around, you see there's quite a lot of hotels. There's some museums in the centre. There's a whiskey museum. It's also a more general sort of history museum. Hi, this is McCaig's Tower, which looks over Oban. It is also known by other names, such as the Forum, or maybe even the King's Folly. There is uh, information posters down here about McCaig's Tower. Um, this morning I was down sipping a beer and a a helpful Scotsman told me that uh, there were plans to build a lot more than what got built. He says it's meant to have like a roof and perhaps even be a hospital, uh, which isn't too far from the truth. Uh, just reading the information panel here, the Crown of Oban. And where have we got? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that fourth paragraph there talks about McCaig planning the addition of a 95 foot, about 30 meter high central tower with a museum, art gallery and chapel. So I don't know if that will ever get done. You do get some great views up there. You can see, you can see across to the Isle of Mole. Hi there, I woke up in Glen Nevis near Fort William and just driving to Malague and I've been told this is a stunning route and yeah, a Scottish guy told me it's a good drive and he's right, there's some pretty uh, stunning places to stop. I uh, had breakfast in McDonald's and another McDonald's related story is the Jacobites last stand and here's that same text in Gaelic I imagine got some got a key here number one is the Princess Can two is Can Reynold McDonald's. It mentions uh, Clan Reynold McDonald's in this section here, the last naval engagement 
in British waters. And they even put the Gallic tax beneath. Hi, I've just walked south from the centre of my lake in Scotland and I've stumbled across what is perhaps the most scenic place to play football or field hockey in the whole of the United Kingdom. You've got the Isle of Sky there on the horizon. And here's Malagan District Swimming Pool. So there are things to do here apart from catching ferries to different islands. Just gonna walk over and have a look at these murals. The text is easy to read with one exception. This one here shows some people diving and I think uh, that means dive. So you got D I V E or at least part of an E. That's the best I can do with that. And on the right hand side of the image you've got someone part way through a dive. Hi, this is the centre of Dunblane in Scotland and there's quite a lot of history here. Just reading this plaque about Dunblane Bridge and it says that the ford was used by the armies of Wallace and Bruce before the battles of Stirling Bridge and Bannockburn in 1297 and 1314. And the first bridge was built in 1410 and the current bridge is being maintained or strengthened right now. That's the high street up there. In the Tappet Hen pub there's a sign which summarises the attractions of Dunblane. Some nice yellow buildings here. And over here we have Dunblane Cathedral. And according to the information in the pub, this tower is one of the most important medieval buildings in Dunblane, or even in the whole of Scotland. Just around the corner, there is a post box which is painted gold for some reason.